future. We're going to talk about it when we come back after a station break of uh, television, what it's going to look like maybe by the turn of the century. Let's go to the news desk. Matt Lauer. Brian, Elizabeth, thank you very much and good morning. Thank you, Michael. Congratulations. Michael Andrew Trefether. It's almost like the winery. Yeah, it's yeah. Trefether. No Trefethen. R in the back end. Right, right. right. Great wine. Name one that isn't. <laughs> um, Elizabeth Vargas is. Oh, right, you're in Provence, Toujours in Provence. Anyway, he's written uh, another one uh, now, this one called A Dog's Life, in which he's not the narrator, but his canine companion is. What kind of dog does he have? It's called Boy. <laughs> Gives you an idea. But Ooh, anyway. A generic dog. We'll talk with him in just a little bit. 801, let's go to the news test. Again. No phobias, huh? None. Oh. No. Well, really interesting you see with that virtual reality. I'm helmet. getting them, though. It was a different look, wasn't it? Yeah. We're Darth back. Vader. Yeah, thanks a lot. We're back in a moment. Station break. You're watching today, America. There was no blood trail leading to the glove, yet there was blood trail leading to the house via the driveway from the Bronco. No question about that. A little I have short, no problem with that. But kind of, kind of nice. It would, it would make me feel better. And it says, um, what is it? Inpatient and outpatient. 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 Makes yeah. sense. And Nicole Miller, very popular uh, designer, who usually works in uh, unusual fabrics, has come, has come up with one. Print fabrics are her trademark, but uh, this time she has gone for. After doing all this investigation. Have you found what you were looking for? Well, my life has changed and really... Talk to mystics, psychologists, psychics, science... Good morning, America Sunday. I'm Antonio Mora. And I'm Kimberly Hunt from KGTV in San Diego, in for Willow Bay. You may remember that face from the movie Fame. Debbie Allen is also... We killed them, uh, and the man responsible was on the CIA payroll. Okay, what about allegations of document shredding inside the super-secret uh, National Security Agency? The CIA, is it that good at keeping secrets, or are we going to get the truth? Well, it was an incredible week. The challenge DNA evidence. Did the defense blow it by waiving this opportunity in the past in January? You know, I, I think if you look at it on the, on the sort of funny things, Giselle, uh, the idea behind a mistrial is that there's been something here that's interfered with the process. Why don't we take a look at some of this uh, before we hear more about what life was okay. like on the prison ranch. Let's take a look at a clip. Well, I know where the great... Uh, of course, became famous uh, when you did Midnight Cowboy. Now you play a cowboy... Kyle and Jamie were friends long before... New York City. Dustin Hoffman played his ragtag pal, Ratso Rizzo, and both actors won Oscar nominations for their performances. Voight was just 28 years old. He went on to star in other... Now, the book is about many things. It's not just about King Arthur's court and the demise of Camelot, but you thrust the legend into the 20th century in a small town in England by, well, I guess, the reincarnation of many lives of those very court members, the King and Lancelot, etc. Well, that's a compliment. <laughs> Congratulations and welcome. Thanks Thank for being you. here this morning. Isn't Curtis cute? Even though we wouldn't let me have a ride. Anything, I'm cute. You're cute too. Right. But you don't have a go-kart. <laughs> I have a go-kart. Checking the facts or is it going for different types of stories? I mean, you can have your facts I'm still... Oh, I think so. I think so. I mean... Yeah. I... I certainly have to master absolutely. that language, but not let go of, of who I was it's either. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. We're going to take a short break here, and when we come back, um, we're going to be talking about the Hispanic population and the fact that, that we need some people in politics new in the position. And uh, give us a little bit of history, how, how you got to Milwaukee and what you did before you came here. Well, I've been here since May, and before that I was...
within an hour of, of your, your regular wake up time. Yep. Yeah, right, that, sure. We all oh, wake up because our body's like, wake us up, but believe me, then we go back to sleep. Now, I said best time for what? exercise. Psychologically, that, that all systems us, are go. That leaves it up to us to get them in the mood. What's it leave up to us? Oh, to get to them, get in, the them in the mood. Okay. <laughs> so that means you have to work harder at getting us in the mood at 745. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we'll pick till 9. Fodder this for another article, I guess, in this magazine. Well, it's July, April. I guess, issue of Glamour. <laughs> we'll be back. Fun article, though. <laughs> Woman, in the last half hour, we were talking about osteoporosis and things that young women should do and etc. taking it through all the stages that women face. But Nancy mentioned that even women who have begun menopause can do various things uh, to increase their bone mass. Right. And she mentioned some products that you can buy. Nose spray that she demonstrated. Maya Kelson, I'm told in my ear. But I'll always talk to your doctor first before trying all these things. So. Yeah, you always talk. The thing comes across and, and cleans it off and you can see the thing better. Yeah, yeah that's Ron's hand. In London. It is Tuesday, July 9th and here with me is Elizabeth Vargas because Charlie's taking a little week off. A well-deserved week, we might add, but that hurricane birth is making big yeah. news this morning. It has passed over the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Most of the damage caused by the storm was in St. Thomas, which took a down London. And here with me is Elizabeth Vargas in for Charlie, who's off taking some well-deserved time off. Having a good vacation, we all hope. It is Tuesday, July 9th. And coming up this morning, a big story of the last few days has been the yeah. de decline in the stock market. They'll let us go to Elizabeth Vargas at the news desk for the latest development. Elizabeth. Hi, Joan. Hi. Hello again, everybody. Foreign markets followed. Good morning. <laughs> news for news. I know it's for news, yeah. Yours. Yeah, I actually my I like yours better. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Anyway, runner's knee is a common ailment that uh, runners can uh, encounter, and uh, we're going to have a doctor here in a Yeah, I actually my I like yours better. Why, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Anyway, runner's knee is a common ailment that uh, runners can uh, encounter. Good Morning America continues in just a moment. a complete circle of communication. Women tend to approach communication in a more natural Some of the women's movements, so part of your body's in communication. Mm -hmm. Another part is asserting the male stance of right. wide lower legs and a suck. Is it on your veins? Is it? I you didn't hold, know that. hold this leg, crush your legs, hold it up, and keep it that way for the whole show. Your in the place of the word soul. Soon you may have to find another song. Oh, $100,000 for each and every time he uses that song, which he's played for months. So far, the Dole campaign is... Kill people. So great when celebrities use their fame for a good cause. So many do. It's and, wonderful. And especially him. He's, he's Thank great. You. Thank you. We'll be back. Hottest crossover Latin talents in the world. She's going to talk about how she balances career with being a mom. That two-year-old baby on mm -hmm. her shoulder, Emily. She takes her with her every place she goes. She was adorable. I can't wait to see you two really seem to hit it off. You know what we should do? We should do this for Carol Burnett. Absolutely. In America, don't forget smoke. <laughs> Bette Midler. <laughs> no, no, it's a really cool thing. Bette Midler and Golden Hawn are going to be actually here. In, the, in studio. Yeah, in the studio. That's so neat. And also singer Waylon Jennings and Melrose Place heartthrob Andrew Shu. We've got all those stars, plus someone really seriously out of this world, astronaut Shannon Lucid, direct from outer space. It's always amazing when we Great. talk to people in outer space. Hi, Thank, Thank you. you. Great. And all I, want from, to all I want for my birthday yeah. is for you to watch my show tonight. <laughs> all right. Joan's special tonight and make her birthday a fabulous That's an easy one. wish. Blow the candles. Okay.
Excellent. Oh, and they didn't right. even do oh. funny candles well, we on <laughs> I expect that from my crew. <laughs> Tracy, very quickly, let's get a look at today's weather while we admire this beautiful cake. Just for Joan in America, I'm Joan London. And I'm Elizabeth Vargas, in for Charlie Gibson. It is Wednesday, September 18th. And coming up, we're going to look at all three of those stories that Joan just mentioned. We will talk with a reporter who had dinner with O.J. Simpson at his home on Monday night as he prepared to face charges in a civil court. And also, Head, you may think the passenger side airbags protect your children in the car. Well, think again. A new study shows airbags could add... Orange juice. Coming up, we're going to have the latest on U.S. servicemen exposed to chemical weapons during the Gulf War. And Bette Midler and Goldie Hawn will tell you what really happened on the set of First Wise Club, so don't go away. Very feminine. I put my cream no, right here where I came that's here. Me. That's not feminine. Yes. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> Gonna, no. Okay. <laughs> don't move. Uh, Steel Day brand new products coming up in this next right hour. There. If you want some long, sexy earrings, just stay tuned because we have brand new. The, uh, the one on this ankle. Oh, that was the very first. The dainty one. Now, when, when does one stop? Is this it for you? Do you get more? I think so. Otherwise, I'm going to have to be involved in some You're kind of... You're in New York. Oh. She's going to win you this case. Because it's what you guys do for a living. You don't all have to go. Right, and she's going to win this case. She does have a First there, Amendment no right. She does. A little social right, I've got to You're getting moved to the Pentagon. That's it. we got to take a good <laughs> is ready to go again and as soon as we have her head examined we may let her <laughs> okay so it's like 5 30 in the morning on day two and they knock on your tent you're gonna get out of the tent <laughs> not a chance that would be the tent that we set up at the four seasons <laughs> yeah that would be it exactly <laughs> good morning america continues and a uh, little season i've got these oh my gosh a couple others that i can't show you <laughs> actually was a big hit this weekend i don't know if we have that many left yeah white four two four nine oh so let's double check that Okay. Okay, and we're going to make sure we get that all squared away. All there, right. Oh, it's kind of goofy here. Okay, let's just go. And uh, I'll pop the graphics up, and there's how many left? Ouch. Whoa. That's you can all. see it. You see okay. this? You see this? Okay. You call? <laughs> we're trying to do a lot in a very little amount of time here. Her neck, my ankle, go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is the 18-inch Omega. Must possess, must possess. I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. It's having all the same, all the same, because everything just kind of mushes together. Not same, same. No, 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 no. Not good. Not good. You need something that's different. But again, I want you to notice the fluidity of this chain, the finish. Real quick, if we can, Chris, I want to show the front. Kick off those high heels and pull up a chair. We've got to talk about your aching feet. And a little bit later, Tom Hanks on his latest starring role in Saving Private Ryan. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Some members of our studio audience will receive Hi on this Wednesday, Brody Buster and the Black, White, and Blues Band. Have a great one. Take us All out, right. guys. Hey, guys. come back, we'll talk to actor Campbell Scott, who has a new movie out. But first, Dr. Greg Hippolyter. With a lot of laughs. A lot of laughs. A lot of laughs. Yeah. A lot. A lot. Of laughs. A lot. <laughs> the, now, on, on Larry Sanders, I was oh, one of the, the best revival, and now I'm in one of the best shows. To, we were going to talk oh. with a gentleman from uh, the Chancellor of the School of Metaphysics in Windyville, Missouri. And what we were going to talk with him about is the 10th annual Dream Hotline event taking place down there. What you do is... Well, you know you, what? You want to find out about a dream. We're still trying First to get this thing. First of all, I have thing. to figure out how to turn on this phone. Can I get some What you do is we got a little technical problem. Help. And <laughs> we may well have this before we get finished. But if not, we're going to tell you turn what you on. would have been seeing and hearing right now. We do have them, as a matter of fact. So, as I said, if you had a real interesting <laughs> dream last night and you want to know what that means... What you trying First to get of all, this I have thing. to figure out how to turn on this phone. Can I get some What you do? We got a little technical phone problem. Help. And <laughs> we may well have this before we get finished. But if not, we're going to tell you turn what you on. would have been seeing and hearing right now. We do have them, as a matter of fact. So, as I said, if you had a real interesting <laughs> dream last night and you want to know what that means, what you... Last night. I dreamed that I was on national...